हाय एवरीवन दिस इज मोहम्मद कुबैब वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू रिसाइज एज यूर वर्चुअल मशीन इन बल्क इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर द फ्यूचर अपडेट्स एंड इफ यू वॉन्टेड टू लर्न मोर अबाउट एज यूर और एज यूर वर्चुअल डेस्कटॉप और सिट्रिक्स वर्चुअल डेस्कटॉप यू कैन चेक आउट माई बेस्ट सेलर कोर्स इन उरेमी सो इन अ टिपिकल Azure Virtual Desktop Environment, we may have hundreds or thousands of virtual machines. So over the period of time, if you feel like your virtual machines are not performing well, you have an option to resize the Azure Virtual Machine at any time. So in order to do the resize of Azure Virtual Machines, you need to go to the portal and you need to go to the Virtual Machine Blade and then you have an option to resize the Azure Virtual Machines. So this is my virtual machines and this is the current size which is B2MS which is 2 vCPU and 8 GB RAM. So if you wanted to change to any other size, so for example if I wanted to change to D series, I just need to select the uh, required size and then I need to click on resize. However, for an individual virtual machines, this is very easy and we can do it without any issue. For example, if you have hundreds or thousands of virtual machines where you need to do the resize, which is practically impossible to do one by one. There comes script. So using PowerShell script, we can do the resize of hundred or thousands of virtual machines so that you can avoid the manual task and you can completely automate it using the script. Before we resize the virtual machines, we need to aware some points. So the first one is reboot. So when we do the resize, the virtual machine will get rebooted. So make sure that you perform this activity during your maintenance or change window. So if it is a production workload, it will impact. So plan it accordingly. The second point is the virtual machine availability. For example, if your present size of the virtual machine is D2 S V4 and you wanted to change this virtual machine to D4 S V4. So which is 4 vCPU and 16 GB RAM. So make sure that this virtual machine SKU is available in your region. So it is not necessary that all the virtual machine SKU are available in your region. So before doing the resize, make sure the availability of virtual machine SKUs in your region before doing the resize. And the third point is you cannot do resize of virtual machines which is having temporary disk to the virtual machine which is not having temporary disk. For example, let's take D2 S V4. This virtual machine's configuration is 2 vCPU, 8 GB RAM and it does not have any temporary disk. For example, if you wanted to resize this to D2 D S V4 or D4 D S V4, for example, this is 2 vCPU and 8 GB RAM with temporary disk and this SKU is 4 vCPU and 16 GB RAM and temporary disk. So you cannot do the resize from the VM which is, does not have temporary disk to a VM which is having temporary disk. So always you can do the resize from a virtual machine which is having a temporary disk to a virtual machine which is having a temporary disk as well as from a virtual machine which doesn't have temporaries to a virtual machine size which doesn't have temporary disk. So this you have to keep it in mind before you do the resize. So let's look into the script. So this is the script to resize the virtual machines in bulk. So first we need to create a text file with the virtual machine details. So let's create a text file. So I am going to enter the virtual machine details which is virtual machine host name that is avd-int-0 and the another one is test-int-0. So these are the virtual machines we have it in Azure portal that we are going to do the resize. I am going to save this file with the name vm list. So now our file is ready with the vm details and let's go and enter the subscription details over here so i'm going to my azure portal i'm going to the subscription 
so let's copy the subscription name which is azure subscription one so we have the subscription details now we have the file details as well now we need to mention the resource group on which our vm exists so if i go to my virtual machines here I can find my resource group which is a VDI. So this is the resource group as you can see over here. So I'm going to enter the details here. So now we have the subscription file name as well as resource group. The last step is we need to enter the target VM size. So if you see here my current size is B2MS standard B2MS. So if I go to the size, so this is my current size, which is B2MS. So I'm going to do the resize to B4MS, which is 4 vCPU and 16 GB RAM. So let's copy the details of the virtual machines and let's go here and we will enter it according to the format. So I'm going to enter the target VM size, which is b4 ms so now our script is ready so let's save this script so now we have everything ready so let's copy this partial script and let's launch the partial so i'm going to paste the script which i copied so here it is the script so i'm going to execute it so it will prompt for the azure login so we need to log in with our contributor or the required permission to resize the virtual machines so i'm going to use my credential over here so as you can see now it fetched the subscription details and now it is changing the size of AVD INT0. So basically it will shut down the virtual machine and then it will do the resize and then it will start the virtual machine. So now it executed the script successfully as you can see here size changed for AVD INT0 as well as then it will start changing the size for the another virtual machines. So it is also successfully completed. So this is how you can resize virtual machine in bulk, whether maybe 100 or 1000 virtual machines using script so that you can save time and you can completely automate using PowerShell. So let's go back to the Azure portal and we will see the behavior. So in the portal, as you can see the size now it is B4MS for our two virtual machine. So if you go to the activity log, so we will clearly get the details what all the changes happened during our script execution. So if you expand this and if you select this particular event and go to change history, you can see all the activities which is performed by the script. So here you can see the hardware properties. The old value is B2MS and the new value is standard before MS and all the remaining steps like vm stopped vm started and succeeded all these things you can get to know from this activity or change history so this is how we can do the resize of azure virtual machines which is deployed in azure virtual desktop host pool so that it can save your time and you can automate the entire process of the resizing using partial script thank you for watching the video and if you like this video please subscribe and Hit the bell icon for the future updates.